Hi class, today I'm going to quickly show you how you could use your phone to upload a physical document to your Google Classroom to submit it as an assignment. So I will be using my iPhone to do this, and so this uh, iPhone has an app that already comes installed on it called Notes, and you could use that app to scan a document and upload it to your Google Classroom within minutes. So here we go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up my iPhone, and when I do that, I should have the apps, unless you moved it or deleted it somehow, there should be one called Notes. It's in the, the, my top right-hand corner there. So I'm gonna click on Notes. Now when I open Notes, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna in the bottom right-hand corner, that's for that icon's for a new note. It's gonna give you some options. Now when I do this, it's going to have a camera. I'm gonna choose the camera, then I'm gonna to choose to scan a document because it's gonna make it into a PDF format, which is very usable. So I'm gonna use my camera and hover over the document that I want, so I wrote on this paper. The cool thing is that it will actually find and focus the document for you and take it, especially if you have it on a contrasting background. And then let's say you have two sides, so flip it over and do the same thing. All right, looks good. Now, sometimes you may want to edit them. They usually come up pretty good with your first go, but let's say that you want to edit it and I only want to submit like part of this one page. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you could hit that to crop it and these four white circles will, will appear and you could drag them to the section that you actually want to crop. And so you can see I'm going to do the top half of this paper. These Circles are not very user-friendly. They're kind of difficult and annoying to use, but it gets a job done. So let's say that looks good to me. All right, that's the part I'm going to submit. So that looks good to me. And then I still have the second page in its entirety. And looks good. I'm going to hit done. Now after I hit done, I'm going to hit the bottom right-hand corner where it says save to. Now when I do this, it will give you an option to name them, but the cool thing is that when it scanned it, it actually named it. It picks up the first words on the paper, so that's awesome. It's going to name this one the heart because that's what's in the top left-hand corner. And I'm going to hit the Upload button in the top right, and I'm going to go find my Google Drive. And I'm going to choose the account that I want to upload it to. And there it is. It's called the heart, like I said. It got the name from it. If you want to rename it, you could tap on it and do so. And when I'm good, I'm going to hit upload. And it will upload the document. And now it's in my Google Drive. So now I just have to get it to my Google Classroom. So I'm going to go open up my Google Classroom directly from my phone, or you could go onto a laptop or a computer and do it through there. And when you do this, I'm going to hit Honors Bio, because that's what the class I have to submit it for. Hit Classwork in the bottom middle. And then hit the assignment that you need to upload it to. And so here it is. I'm going to assign, I'm going to put that document on this assignment. I know they have nothing to do with each other, the heart and a genetics review, but it's just the first paper I grabbed to scan. Hit your work on the bottom. Hit add attachment. Go to your drive. Find it in your drive. You know it's called the heart, so scroll down and find it. There it is in a PDF format. Click turn in and can verify and you're good to go. So that's how simple it could be to actually upload your physical document to your Google Classroom. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.